Three-year-old Kanija Bibb was visiting a relative when a bullet fired outside came through the house and killed her. Tyler Johnson lost his life at age 25, one of the victims of a random shooting at a shopping mall. Ruth Ann Lodato was fatally shot by a stranger who knocked on the door of her home. The music teacher was 59. They are among 155 gunshot victims commemorated at the Memorial to the Lost on a recent Sunday. Now is the time to end the senseless killing of people like Jabari Field. Listen to our voices. Outside a church near Washington, D.C., Pastor Kathy Dwyer and her congregation gathered for the memorial dedication. Each T-shirt displayed on the lawn bears the name, age, and date of death of one of the people killed by guns in the Washington area last year. The victims' ages range from 3 to 73. While the, the display isn't going to fix anything, it does heighten awareness. Um, it gives us an opportunity to start talking about it um, from a position of uh, peace building rather than um, out of reaction and defense. A faith-based organization, Heeding God's Call, began the Memorial to the Lost, also known as T-Shirt Memorial, in Philadelphia in 2013. It was to commemorate the 288 people who were gunned down in the previous year in the area. Since then, in collaboration with churches, synagogues, and mosques, the group has sponsored installations in over 50 sites in other cities. We have a, a compelling commandment that tells us we are to love our neighbor. We need to come out of our pews and step up and let people know that this is not right, that uh, this is not loving our neighbor. The visual representation of gun violence struck a chord with many. I'm asking myself, when is enough enough? You know, how much do we have to bear before something changes? This visual representation, these all are real people and there are thousands more. I think we need to have lots of people who are not necessarily in the midst of violence like that come and see a representation like this. Since I'm a Virginian, and I know Virginia is part of the problem with its very lack gun laws and the ability of people to obtain guns in Virginia and take them to the District of Columbia or New York City. And so I see the harvest here of the lack of legislation in Virginia with regards to gun control. Organizers hope the memorial will resonate nationwide and inspire legislative change to help stop gun violence. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.